Who's this? This is Michaela calling. Did I catch you at a good time? Um, sure. Awesome. And I'm just calling to thank you for coming in the other day and taking a look at the terrain. I know it's definitely time consuming to be going through and car shopping. Uh, do you have any lingering questions? Mm, um, no. Awesome. And did you like the terrain? Yeah, it was alright. Compared to what? Um, the Ford Explorer and, you know, I really liked the Enclave as well, but it was just so much more expensive. The train was definitely a lot more affordable. Yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. Now, what surprised you about the terrain? Just the affordability and the technology that it had. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's one of my favorites. Now, Aaron, if there was one thing that prevented you from moving forward the other day, what would that one thing be? Uh, I just need to think about it, you know. I just don't want to rush into anything. Now, Aaron, I definitely understand. I, I would have to think about it, too. It's definitely a huge decision to make, and I don't need you making any hasty decisions. Now, what would your time frame be to be thinking about it? Um, by the end of the month, you know, my car is still limping around for now, but, you know, I definitely do have to make a move soon before I'm stranded on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> now, by saying the end of the month, Aaron, do you mind if I give you a call, say, the 29th and see how things are going? Um, that'd be fine. Awesome. Okay, I want to introduce everybody to Dale. Everybody say hi, Dale. Dale is the true professional. He's been in the dealership 20 years. He, he is a resistor from top to bottom. Wants no parts of making any type of pre-programmed phone calls to his customers. Does not understand the need to be scripted, as he called it. Dale was calling a customer that was in the store on Saturday. The customer told Dale she was going to the credit union to be back on Friday with a check for him for the truck that he showed her. Dale did not want to make this phone call, as is clearly evident by his body language. Look at his left hand. He's holding a lock and wheel nut in his left hand. doesn't have an ink pen. He has one, but it's laying on the table. And just notice how he continues to push the one thing sheet around as he's talking. Dale could not express through body language any more that he did not want to make a phone call than this right here. Now here's the kicker. Dale made a perfect one thing phone call. Do you have any lingering questions? Did you like the truck I showed you compared to what? What surprised you about the truck? And finally, if there's one thing that prevented you from moving forward Saturday, what would that one thing be? As I said, you can tell by his body language, he does not want to be here. He does not want to make this phone call. But guys, watch, and you're going to see what happens for Dale in just a moment. Okay, um, looking for a thousand dollars more for your trade. Hello, operator. This is Al Bundy. I would. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>